We're not politically correct, we just have common sense. Unscripted, unfiltered, unfaltering. Joy Supports Hunt for Heroes offers tributes and true stories of remarkable courage. If these terrorists could come in your bedroom, they'd kill you, your wife, and your kids. And that's what these men are fighting to protect us from, these murdering idiots. And uh, they're taking them out so that we don't have to deal with them over here. Show of support started it all, just after the shock and awe bound a nation together. Now, years of footage portraying wounded veterans, deer stands, and standing ovations. Hunt for Heroes that started as one man's way to say thanks is now a series that many say is way overdue. <laughs> I ain't never felt like that before, and I want to feel that again. It's just a raw emotion. They left us being loved and being honored for the heroes that they are. We still have 40,000 injured troops. If you threaten our people and our way of life, we will find you wherever you may be hiding, in the place you feel most safe, and we'll kill you in your own bedroom. Thank you for being a country worth fighting for. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. It's going to take a while to get around all of them, but there's no quitting. It'll never stop as long as I'm breathing. Hunting's always been a part of my life growing up. My grandfather, my dad, they took me hunting. It's always been a part of my life, so I've always enjoyed it. I feel at peace and I feel relaxed when I'm outdoors. Hunting in South Texas is, is you know, world renowned. People come from all over to do it, and it's just an amazing place. For many warriors, one of the hardest adjustments with a prosthetic is walking on uneven ground. United States Army Sergeant Vance Flowers has got that under control. Here at the Shiner Ranch in South Texas, hunting guide Jason Sakula can't even tell which leg Vance lost. Seems nobody can. But as they say in show of support, the leg may have been lost, but what matters is spirit and determination is still there. It's a spirit that carries Vance time after time after time back in the outdoors, doing what he loves to do, hunting white-tailed deer. For anyone who has never hunted a box flying, it's a very tight, confined place, and uh, you gotta be real quiet, but it's really tight. The rut has been over for a while now in South Texas, but January is still a great time to be at the Shiner Ranch. Over the years, this show of support hunt has become tradition down here. I was blown away. I've never seen anything like it in all my years of hunting. The Shiner Ranch, Anything can happen. I'm Terry Johnson, Shoals Port. I want to thank you for coming. I want to thank you for giving us the opportunity to say thanks the way we know how. And that's through the activity of hunting. It was just a few hours ago when he first arrived that Vance was joined by other military heroes. This hunt will wrap up our 11th season. This is one of Shore Support founder Terry Johnson's favorite moments when he can present combat veterans a complete set of hunting gear, clothes, and so much more. One of the traditions we have is not only a backpack full of gear, but also going to be giving you a rifle. Uh, it's yours to use on this hunt, also to keep. We got here to Shiner Ranch, and, uh, and Terry welcomed us to the ranch, and he totally blew us away because he gave us this welcome package that included a brand new Ruger. 25-06 rifle. Like I say, it's just become a tradition for us now every year to present a rifle. I had never considered it, but I got to say it's my new favorite. Are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm left-handed. Okay. There's nothing like sending lead downrange the first time from a brand new deer rifle. As Terry Johnson and others look on, they see a man who has seen a lot in his military career. And they see a man who still remains on active duty. With two good legs, even if one is natural and the other a technological marvel. Yeah, that one's right there to the just below the first one. I think that's a pretty good group for yeah. for this kind of wind. Guy. 
His first afternoon on the Shiner Ranch and Vance's adrenaline just went off the chart as show of support hunt for heroes continues. Someone once said, if it weren't for hunting, there would be no reason to come to South Texas. Of course, anyone in the cattle or oil business would beg to differ. But here at the Shiner Ranch, hunting guide Jason Sakula and his hunter Vance Flowers know it's easy to fall in love with a brush. Because as thick as it is, there's no telling what might come wandering out of that thick wall of brush. That's an old buck, man. Eight point. I have not seen that buck before. Jason, our guide, he noticed that deer coming in pretty quick and all of a sudden the feeling in the blind went from very relaxed and quiet to all of a sudden everybody was like, oh no, we have an opportunity to shoot here and it, it kind of went from zero to 60 in a very short amount of time. So I had to quickly get that rifle up and out of the blind window and get set in. And once you know you're going to have an opportunity to pull the trigger back, you, you, you really start to get anxious and excited and you really want to be calm though so you can put a good shot. But man, you can feel the tension level really increase when you're sitting in there and and the pressure's on because now all that waiting has come to the point where you, you have to make it all count. Agonizing minutes go by waiting for a decent shot. Every fiber in Vance's body is tense. There's the disbelief that all this is happening so soon after arriving at the ranch. And there's the realization that at any moment this buck could spook and take off. Yes. He's getting there. Give him a little bit more. Okay. You just take your time and just shoot him in the center of the shoulder. Just a slow squeeze. Slow squeeze. Good shot. Good shot. He's going to go down right there. Right there. Face plant. Shot, man. <laughs> nice shot. That was perfect. He hit him right in the point of the shoulder. He kind of had a little bit of a quarter to us, so right in the point of the shoulder is perfect. He didn't make it far. That's an old buck. That deer, he's, he's a good seven years old or so. After I saw him fall, I was really relieved. I took a big sigh of relief. Immediately, uh, you know, unloaded my rifle, put it down, and just sat back and had a big grin on my face. Just waited the time we needed to as so we'd go down and check him out. I couldn't wait to get out of that blind. It was it was uh, eating at me because I, I knew he was out there and I wanted to go and grab a hold of him and, and you know, see, see how big he was. All right, man. Congratulations. <laughs> you know, they said I'd see a big deer and I'd probably get one. I had no idea I'd get it the first night. And they lived up to what they said. You know, the big deer were going to come. And uh, I was just fortunate enough to get a, get a, a shot that night and, and get one. There he is. Yeah, man, he didn't make it very far. See right there where he hit the ground. That's a good buck. He's got dirt all over his horns from where he rolled. Here. Man. It's a nice deer. Yeah. Got really good dog catchers on him. Really good brow tines. Old buck, he's probably what, 19 inches wide. <laughs> Job, man. Hey, thanks, appreciate it. <laughs> Congratulations. How, how old do you think he is? I think deer's about seven years old, man. Look at his old nose, big old rolling nose on him like that. He's got, you know, he's got, I mean, big old hump on him, big forehead, sunk in forehead. You know, deer had lots of skin on him when he's coming out. Definitely an old deer. Van Flowers may be a long way from Iraq, but he's only a couple of hours away from where he learned to walk again. It's been a journey, to say the least, for this man who has seen the worst war has to offer. Well, I was in Iraq for 2006. We were doing some route clearance patrols in northern Iraq, and it just turns out there was an IED uh, buried underneath the pavement 
that went off and, and that's when I was injured and that's uh, the time when I, when I lost my leg. And uh, you know, I wouldn't, if I had to do it all over again to include losing my leg again, I wouldn't change a thing. Like him. I do too. Man, I think we ought to head back to the cooler and everybody's waiting over there. We'll get him loaded up in the truck. Head back over there and let them check him out. All right. All right, man. Congratulations. Thanks. As exciting as it is to have this buck on the ground, Jason reminds Vance that his hunt isn't over. Not by a long shot. He's got another tag and a chance to add to this weekend of incredible memories as show of support Hunt for Heroes continues. For the duration of this hunt, the weather's been pretty consistent. It's been cold, uh, it's been windy. At this point in January, the rut in South Texas is long over. So this drear weather is perfect for seeing big bucks on the Shiner Ranch. Jason Sakula is happy to be taking Vance Flowers out after another whitetail buck. And it looks like they've come to the right spot once again. Hey, that little buck's looking in the brush to the left. He's staring pretty hard. Like there's something coming. Oh, I see it's coming through right now. There you go. Yeah, good buck coming out on the left side. Whenever I got the green light from Jason, my guide to go ahead and and, uh, and shoot that deer, you know, uh, getting that rifle up in the blind uh, in, through the window and, and getting set in, I was a lot more nervous on the second one because I did not want to mess it up. Yeah, now he's going all the way to the right. The closer that buck gets to the brush line on the right, the closer they may come to losing their chance. It'll only take a couple of steps and he could be gone for good. Vance has fallen in love with whitetail hunting in South Texas, and he's fallen in love with this new Ruger. The weight turns in to torture. If he stays quartered away, just put it right in, right behind the shoulder, just tucked in behind the shoulder. Let him turn his head back to the left, because he's going to, yes, he's going to twist himself if he does that. Good shot. Got him right behind the shoulder. That's what I aimed for. Yeah. He had a little bit of an angle to him, but he jumped and kicked his back legs like he got him good in the lungs. That's what it looked like. <laughs> good shot, man. <laughs> That's a really cool buck. He's got a lot of character. Huge brow tines. Everybody saw that deer run off. I knew I hit him, though. I wanted to get out of that blind right away and run after it, but I knew we couldn't do it and he'd give him a little bit of time. But my heart dropped a little bit when I saw him run back in the wood line because I knew we were going to have some tough work ahead of us try to find him. We went over there to the point of impact. Didn't see any blood, uh, no sign. We saw some tracks, but there was no blood. We were lucky to find him only about uh, 50 yards inside the wood line in a little cactus patch. Right here, look. There he is, man. You see his oh, yeah. arm sticking up? Yeah, I see him. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, he's big man. Let's go check him out. Let's go check him out. There's some, oh, he's some, oh, is that some blood maybe right there? He's having fallen those heavy tracks, man. Dang, he's got a big old body on him, doesn't he? This one right here, that main beam looks like a doggone axe handle. Yeah, it's tall, right? Yeah. Here, let me see your gun so you can check him out. Set it over here. Look at these. Man, those are they awesome. Curl back. <laughs> <laughs> that is really cool. That's a lot of character right there. Look, he's got this little branch coming off. Yeah, I didn't even see that. On the back of this. Look at that. How it kind of squiggles right there. That is awesome, man. That buck has some really cool character, man. Oh, he's he, yeah, they'll splinter off yeah. on this one too. Uh -huh. 
I was really amazed by how big that deer was laying on the ground. Uh, yeah. I'd only looked at him through the scope. I was uh, more impressed with how big he actually was laying there. We say we go get the truck, we'll load him up, take him back, let everybody check him out, man. That sounds good. Meet the other guys at the cooler. Yeah. Hey, congratulations again, man. Thanks. <laughs> good job. I was fourth generation army, so I was just following in the footsteps and uh, was only going to do it for a short while so I could uh, gain a maturity level to be successful in college and end up finding out that I'm really good at the military. I was a sergeant first class E7 in the army. The forecast calls for clearing skies, sunny and hot. So all over the ranch, guides are taking advantage of this perfect January whitetail hunting weather. Even though the hunting season has been going on for almost four months already, Christian Hildebrand looks forward to this chance to be with another American hero. Army Sergeant First Class Richard Sanchez has made a full recovery from a bad day in Afghanistan. We were in a compound, an a and uh, Afghan National Army compound when a uh, rogue Afghan soldier walked in the compound and started shooting the place up. And I happened to catch one to the arm and lost the LT and one of my other soldiers was wounded. Richard's about to find out there's nothing better in the world for taking your mind off the nightmares of the past than a whitetail buck. To the right, to the right, to the right. That's a good deer right there. Big old hate point. Once we got the green light, trying to get myself to uh, be able to get to the proper elevation on that deer was, was kind of hard. And uh, I think the movement I made around, kind of trying to get that scope centered on that shoulder, uh, may have made a little bit too much noise. It doesn't take much to put this buck on full alert. Christian and Richard freeze in the blind, but the buck decides he's had enough. I was pretty frustrated knowing that I was the one who kind of couldn't get down on those crosshairs down where they needed to be, you know, pretty quick without making noise. And I had the green light on this really nice eight point. I blew it. I just wasn't able to get on him quick enough. It's one of the worst things at the end of a day to lose such a big buck. In all the years of guiding, Christian struggles to find the words to ease Richard's pain. The only thing they have to look forward to is one more morning on the Shiner Ranch as show support hunt for heroes continues. Richard Sanchez is hopeful on this chilly, damp, foggy, perfect morning in South Texas. He has trouble getting rid of the image of that buck getting spooked the night before. I didn't think Christian was gonna let me get away without getting a deer. So uh, I was extremely confident that we were probably gonna go through all stretches of his playbook to uh, make sure we got one. To me, what people consider cruddy conditions for a hunter is actually really good conditions. I, I liked the mist. I liked the kind of dampness in the air, the moisture. He's the one in back. He just put his head down. Richard, he's, he's back. He's going to, he's, no, he's more to the right. He's more to the right. He's got his head. Let me see what he's doing. He's facing to the right right now with his head up. As soon as he said that was a deer that we were looking for, both him and I were on the same page of exactly what deer we were looking at. It's a matter of kind of keeping that excitement down, uh, waiting on that deer to turn broadside or give you one of those good uh, quartering shots that you could take. And it is kind of holding that excitement down. You still want to steady your position. You still want to make sure that you're not rocking everywhere. And at the same time, waiting for the deer to play by the rules too. And of course they get a say, and that deer, he almost got away on us. In what seems like forever, waiting for this buck to turn, he finally makes a move for the brush. Okay, you ready? 
I'm gonna stop him. I gotta stop him. Ah. Against all of our efforts to try and get him to stop. Ah. He had a one-track mind and it was that wood line. Ah. Christian is determined to make this buck stop. Ah. Keep on him. Keep on him. Shot. Yep, he just fell in the brush. Hey. There we go. Congratulations. Thank you. We had to put in some work for that on what we got him. We got him. Feels a little bit better now, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a great deer. That's an old deer. That's all she wrote. You, you know you did what you were supposed to do, and now there's nothing left but uh, getting up to him and seeing if he looks just as big on the ground as he did in the scope. What do you think about that? He is nice. Awesome deer. Awesome Beautiful deer. Beautiful buck. Well, I'm you happy? happy? Oh, I'm happy with it. It looks like you're happy. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Thank Excellent you. Excellent deer. Once Thank again. You. Thank you. Good job, guys. Anybody got a camera they want pictures with? The Shiner Ranch is a place of tradition. This mound behind the lodge has been the site of so many trophy buck photos. And hunters who will always cherish the time spent here, four heroes will go back, forever touched by nothing less than a perfect hunt. Come on, guys. Everybody here at the Shiner Ranch has been absolutely incredible and, and, and treated us like we were family. That's so typical of Texas people in general. They're just so friendly and open and willing to show their thanks in any way they can.